Yes, yes. So hell is here. Today we have our third Lacha Fabian reaction. This is You're Not From Here, and it's from the same concert as my previous two, first two reactions. That's the concert from Laura With Love, and my first two reactions were Adagio and Je Suis Malade. So as usual, I've looked up the lyrics beforehand, and this is another song that I imagine will probably be quite emotional based on the lyrics. The lyrics are quite interesting. At first I thought it was a love song, but then as I read through the lyrics, I started to get the feeling that maybe it's a bit more open to interpretation. I imagine that different people People will think differently about this song because of this. You can see the lyrics here if you want to pause and read through. There's a range of potential emotions to be found in these lyrics, I think. Confusion, shock, fear, longing, sadness, hope, the list goes on. I really, really enjoyed the two other performances I saw by Lara. You know, I, I think they were both powerful, very moving. She's clearly a, a great, great performer. So captivating captivating is the word that I want to use. So I think let's get into this one. The video I'm using is a remastered version and it does contain about a minute or so of an interview beforehand. I'm not going to include this interview. Link is in the description if you want to watch that. But the music starts towards the end as she's still speaking. So that's why you'll see some speech there. Through the kitchen said, he said, Lulu, and that's my mommy. Lulu, we have a problem. Your daughter is a singer. Yeah, I mean, as expected, not really surprised there. It's very, very nice, isn't it? There were definitely some similar elements to both of the previous performances that I've seen as well. Like there where we just finished, that really reminded me of Adagio. If we take a bit of Adagio and sing it on top. All right, let's go over some of what we've heard so far. If you don't want to hear some analysis, then skip to the timestamp here. I really like the opening, setting the scene there with the piano. Amongst the arpeggiated figure that we're hearing, the motif of descending and chromatic figures really has the focus here. We hear these chords. Then this musical idea continues downwards, but we get orchestral instrumentation coming in and then what sounds like an oboe with a nice little melody. Just three notes, but overall the feel, it suddenly feels softer. So Lara enters with humming and then when she does enter with words, it seems fragmented because she chooses to do so with a croak before the first word is heard. And again, the end of this phrase reminds me also of Adagio. The truth. 
in short, why this is, is because we hear the same type of suspension, you can think of it as, and the same build up in the bass. Lara does an elongated note, which is a suspended note, which then resolves because she moves down. Just before this, the bass part moves up one note. So the bass notes are these. A silent moment speaks the truth. To show a clip of Adagio, it's in a different key, but the first and the second bass notes will come. I'll indicate with my fingers. And then her. Resolving that suspension. If you're interested, this is what we call a cadential 6 4, which is why it's so recognizable. One of the most recognizable features of this is the fact that the bass note just stays the same as the chord changes. Lara moving down is representing that chord change. So there was this one treatment of some lyrics that really, really caught my eyes, and the words there were falling in those eyes of yours. Now, I heard this and I imagined her giving quite a literal interpretation. Not by falling over or anything, although we are falling down, we're descending down as the word falling is sung, but more than the fact that she implements a completely different kind of technique. But I was falling in those eyes of yours. She put multiple vowel sounds on eyes, but there's only one vowel sound there. She's creating more vowel sounds than there need to be. This is coupled with the fact that she's not using any vibrato, no voice wobbles, it's a flat voice sound, which is then followed immediately by vibrato, which again goes back to a more controlled and closed vowel sound. So compared to the rest of her singing, this really does stand out. Let's listen again on the word eyes. But I was falling in those eyes of yours. Falling in those eyes of yours. It's a weird phrase. Normally you say we get lost in your eyes, but it's this idea of instability that remains. Her normal singing technique is now changed for this part because she's preoccupied with something else. It's a very nice interpretation of the lyrics. And then we get the chorus. I know So far, rhythmically, the driving force has been the piano part, which is playing a chord every other beat. That's been keeping things moving, but now, here, we get a bass come in. The bass accentuates every four beats, so every bar or every measure. We did technically have this before in the left hand of the piano, but now we have a dedicated instrument coming in to take over this role. As well, obviously, with more instrumentation coming in in general. And then just after that, we get two kind of rapid, quick vocal runs in quick succession. <laughs> This is something that I've not really seen much from her yet in, well, in the three whole songs that I've seen her sing. And in this song so far, anyway, the vocals have been reserved. They've been quite hushed, limited in range as well. It's that idea, less is more. Again, I've only seen her two times before, but every time she does this, she starts quietly, softer, just down in general, and then grows into the performance. On that note of growth, I want to start from a bit before where we paused. Let me find it because she was singing the word fly and she actually crescendos through that. So yeah, she grows into it. Then the beat comes in and then that's where I paused. Shut it! 
and it's good to see her thank the band. I mean, that last, I, okay, I'll come back to that at the end there, but I, I was holding my breath at, at that long last note there. Another just outstanding performance from the same concert. How does her voice survive these songs? She's so much power, such so high in her chest voice. Wow. All right, let, let's go over some of the music there from, from that second half. All right, so first thing is this rocking motion, and I don't know why, I just find it quite strange. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's just not really what, what I expected, and I don't know why. We did see it in Adagio, too. Let me find the clip of that. It just makes me want to rock along, but you know, you can tell that she's completely immersed in the music. To me, it makes the performance a bit more emotional, even though I find it strange. I wonder if this is a trait of hers that she often does in most of her performances. I guess I'll find out with time. Just after that, we get some more interesting treatment of lyrics. The lyrics here, angel to watch over me. What do we think of when we think of angels? We think of up there, heaven. Also, she sings the word over. What is over, over is above something. So this is the opposite of what we'd expect because on the word over, she goes right down. Angel to watch over me. And also, again, angels, you know, we think of choirs, they're angelic, violins, etc. This is when the electric guitar comes in. This may be just me, but I don't know. I, f I feel like the whole song here is crafted around difference which to me makes sense anyway like i said at the beginning i imagine that there's probably many different interpretations to these lyrics and then the next phrase right after that such contrast again starting right at the bottom of the range and then excelling straight up there to the top in the chest voice super powerful and suddenly the power comes on the words hold you in my mind like her mind is this really strong prison there's no escape from it Just going back to the electric guitar, I really, really like their use of electric guitar in this performance. It's used sparingly, but effectively. Did you hear those chords sliding down there? It adds this less kind of clean feel, almost like a bit of a distorted sound. And we do have a few electric guitars, it sounds like, each with a different role. You know, like being used for chords, as we just saw. But also, we get these really nice melodic riffs. Back to the point of contrast. Guitar, and then immediately followed by strings. Modern, orchestral. And then again, sorry, I'm going on a mad one with contrasts here, but it's just sticking out to me a lot. On the word from here, we get this kind of growled note. And you know, a growl to me is kind of redolent of anger. And what's the opposite of a growl? A nice open sound. No. The differences are just so, so obvious. And, you know, if something's that obvious, it's impactful. It is impactful. And then we get plenty of this open sound because towards the end, she soared right up there, belting out the top of her chest voice. It's power, 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 power. And to aid with this power, the high chest voice, we get the key change. Moving up in key equals more climactic higher part. The video here, by the way, nicely shows the every other beat accentuated piano chord I was talking about earlier. So it's all building up to this amazing ending. I won't speak about it. Let's just watch it again because wow. I'm expecting her to breathe. I'm getting anxious. And if she's not breathing, I'm expecting the note to kind of drop off. 19 seconds she holds that on for. And it's not just like holding on a quiet note. You know, that's that's power. Again, it's, it's the extremes. I mean, I guess it is a bit of a blended voice to help with that because that's a ridiculous feat. But, it, you know, you can barely even tell. It, it's, it's just great. In the thumbnail of my first lower reaction, I put powerful voice in there. And that still stands true. It's just a powerful voice, not only in physical power, but also in emotional 
emotional capabilities i think great performer great song i'm yeah i'm excited to hear not only the rest of this concert but other songs by her yeah very nice all right let's leave that one there let me know in the comments down below which songs by lara you'd like to see me do future reactions to as always thank you very much for watching would appreciate a like subscribe if you enjoy my content and want to support me you can do so by joining the youtube memberships or patrons linked in the description down below and i will see you next time